So a big welcome back to Unstable TV. Oh my god, that's me and you. OMG. Ah. So if this is your first time on the channel, do not forget to... Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you. So what have you got lined up for everyone on Unstable TV today, Danielle? So today on Unstable TV, James. <laughs> so in our previous video, which will have popped up there, we done an American try video. So we're gonna do another one today. And this time we have found some Fanta drinks from America and we are gonna, you know, pop them out and have a taste. And these are specifically from Atlanta, Georgia in the USA. So we're gonna crack them open, have a taste and see what they look. Like. Crack them open there and uh, we'll get the kitchen knife and chop them in half, sip sip. Fruit Ninja. <laughs> so first off, uh, first off. <laughs> so first up on the taste test or try, depending where you are in the country or the globe, um, we have Fanta Berry. Mm, oh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is caffeinated free. Mm. Caffeine free for all you caffeine free people out there. Now to start, we are not endorsed by Fanta. This is not an affiliation. We literally bought this out of our own pocket. So uh, yeah, this is strictly for you guys or strictly for the homies. Um, whichever way you want to put it. <laughs> so without further ado, Danielle will crack this bad boy open. Let's go. <laughs> That smells unusual. Yes, <laughs> oh. Do you know what? I'm surprised you're not like all oh, over that. That literally smells like do you know, drum, drums, drumstick squashies. That must be the packet that I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the regular packet. Oh, it does. Yeah. yeah. Can you look at the hints in there? Yeah. We'll pop drumsticks up here. In case you don't know what they are. So, you know, you're gonna try this first, yeah. Totally. Totally a tubular dude. That any yeah, 100%. 10 out of 10. Oh yeah? Definitely. Yeah, that tastes like... That tastes like... um a, What are the blue cool pops? What are them flavours? It tastes like a blue cool pop. So that is 10 out of 10 because they are absolutely amazing. If you don't know what that is, here is a picture that popped up here. Thank you, Daniel, for popping out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a little sip now. Oh, sorry, what was, what's the rating? 10 out of 10, was it? 10, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of grape in there. Yeah, you can taste a big lash of grape right in the mouth. Hang on, I'm going to go for another Blueberry and strawberry, but there's a big amount of grape. Like, if you froze that and drank that, obviously don't. That might be dangerous, I don't know. Yeah, like that is, yeah, 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. The lash of the blue kill pop in the milk. So, look, we won't lay any four. That was a prized horse, really, right there. Um, we'll jump straight onto the next guy. Yeah, we won't dilly dally. Now we have a Fanta elderflower and lemon, also from Atlanta, Georgia. And it's there. Woo! What does this sound like? Oh my god, it sounds like a can. Oh my god, it's Bigfoot! I'm, I'm not getting a smell of anything that that's supposed to smell like. Energy smells like elderflower and oranges. Can you not smell it? No. Who knows, bro? I mean, I probably wouldn't drink it on its own. But I would probably mix it with gin because that'd be nice. Have a little taste now. Totally didn't drink it before. Oh, I think you can taste a good portion of the uh, elderflower, but it's like oranges hit on the back. Is it orange? I'm getting lemon. I'm getting like an orange lemony feeling. I'm not getting like a full blown lemon in the milk. I'm getting like oranges. But yeah, definitely if you're running through some gin, obviously we're not promoting drinking. Do not drink if you're under the age. If you are. It's up to you. Definitely mixed good with that. 
Yeah, right, you're gonna put a bit of a twilight sound there. Yeah, I have, like, sorry, that's just a sugar rush just hitting me there right now, so fun times. What would you give that out of 10? Out of 10, I would give that an 8.5. And um, definitely for the mixture, but it's nice with the elderflower. Mm. I do like the elderflower now. I would not drink it too much because I'm not too big on the sugary drinks, but yes, if I need in the mixer, I would use it. Oh my god, I think all our trials are just where we use them for mixers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but sure, look, this is it. The elderflower and lemon, I would give 6 out of 10 because, yeah, that's all it deserves. <laughs> So, James, out of these two lovely fancy drinks made all the way over in the USA, what is your favourite? My favourite um, would be the Elderflower, 108.5%. What would your favourite be? So, my favourite one would be the berry one because that was just, yeah, pour that out into a bottle and freeze half it. It was very good. <laughs> very good, very nice. <laughs> Very good, very nice. Hello, Hello chicken, chicken nugget. nugget. <laughs> <laughs> we are hyper after them drinks. Ooh, the drinks are very different over in America because they are not the buzz we get off them here. These are just sugar rush times 10. They are like a different level of chemicals in comparison to the European drinks. The American ones just uppercut you on the sugar levels. So, of course, do let us know what you guys thought of this taste test down below and which one out of the drinks was your favourite. And if you have any further tries or taste tests for us to check out or anything at all, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be American if you're anywhere in the globe. Let us know and you mm -hmm. found this video. Tell us what you would like us to taste or try next. So drop a comment down below and let us know what you thought of these drinks and if you want us to try anything else, we will see what we can do. I need a nap after that. <laughs> and as always, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.